guys, my name is Eslyn and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm actually going to share with you a story, by far the hardest thing that I've ever had to deal with. And I feel like women, we don't talk about this. We kind of keep it inside and it eats us alive and I decided I want to share with you um, what happened and my experience with uh, miscarrying. 10 days past ovulation is when I found out. Um, and I confirmed it 12 days past ovulation. It was one of the happiest days of my life. It was, it was, I knew I wanted this. We tried for it and I got pregnant on the very first try. I, I felt I was on top of the world. I was, I couldn't believe how blessed, um, you know, and being that I have PCOS, I I, I thought I was gonna have to really fight for this and 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 try really hard. Um, not saying that I didn't try hard because I you know I prepped for this and all my hard work did pay off. You know, prepping and getting my body ready for uh, to conceive. And when it worked, I I was on top of the world. Like, um, and it's just so crazy because. I've never been pregnant before so it was my first experiencing everything just that feeling of that attachment it's like instantly yours it's instantly like that love that bond you just have this overwhelming love and attachment. and I was so small that it doesn't even detect on a um, on an ultrasound yet my very first doctor's visit was um, re again really early on and my HCG level was, was a 29 and my doctor said she's like look this is really low however you are very 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 early on in in your pregnancy uh, come back in two days and we'll retest you now my numbers should have doubled they did not it went up just like a little bit she asked me to go back again another two days. Now at this point, I was extremely worried. It was about five weeks. Yeah, it was five weeks at this point. And I remember just being so sad because um, she told me that my numbers were not doubling and there was nothing I, I can do. Um, so it's just such a hopeless feeling. I remember it was Saturday morning and I woke up to her phone call. Hey, I, Eslyn, I just want to let you know that your number numbers actually went down. She's like, you're, you're miscarrying. And I, I froze. Um, it was definitely by far, uh, You don't, you don't even know how to react or you just feel so helpless. Uh, like, how can this be happening? Um, and I remember like when I hung up, I just burst out crying. Um, and I was sobbing uncontrollably. And I just remember touching my, my, um, my uterus and I just remember being like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, there was nothing I can do to um, to change it or to help or, or anything. Um, there was no answers. So I just remember crying and crying and saying, "I'm so sorry." And um, my doctor told me to meet her at the the hospital. Um, they tried to look in the ultrasound to see if uh, maybe like baby was um, attached to like in my fallopian tubes and never attached. Um, but that was, however, not the case because that would be more dangerous. But they just told me, um, you know, go home and that I'm, I am miscarrying. They, they did find um, blood in my, uh, in my uterus, basically like if I was gonna get my period. And um, that, again, I'm experiencing a miscarriage and to go home and that if I do get pain, which I would get pain, um, just to take Advil. Next day, 
I had the worst pain of my life. This pain, there was has been no period that I have ever experienced in my life this painful. Um, it was, it hurt so much. It was like somebody was just stabbing me repeatedly. And um, I remember being curled up in bed, just like curled up and I, I like I couldn't, I couldn't even move. It was just so painful. And um, so I took, I took some Advil and thankfully uh, it worked. So this is the part where this is definitely um, TMI. I never even knew that some like that this was what I was gonna experience. Um, I don't. It's not out there really. I feel like it, nobody really. T what I mean is like nobody tells you about it. Um, I went to the bathroom, and this was around the time where. I was feeling the pain. I had already taken the Advil, I was, went to the bathroom, and I felt something come out of me that was not normal at all. I remember it being like, what is that? Please tell me that that's not anything that I'm thinking that it is. And when I looked, it's a pretty decent size um, that I can see, and it looked like tissue, but there was no tissue yet. I like, I hadn't wiped or anything. There was nothing in the toilet besides um, my urine and some blood. So I remember saying, what is that? Like, there's no way. And that that could be anything, um, you know, pregnancy related even. And I remember Googling it and it is exactly basically my worst fear uh, it was tissue from um, my uterus it was tissue from my fetus I broke down I, I cried so hard I, I literally lost it um, I had no idea that I would I would see that that I would experience that and um, I remember it like if it was yesterday it was honestly the worst experience um and just to think like the hardest part about all of it is the fact that as you're cramping um it's like a constant reminder a constant like you're losing your child you're losing your child um I, I can't even tell you how difficult it is to talk about it, to obviously experience it. Um, you know, I pray for all of those women out there that are dealing with, um, you know, recurrent miscarriages. It's, I can't even imagine how hard that is for you guys. Um, I was only five weeks and it was, it was like so crazy for me to, um, to even put it into words really um, but again like I said it was like the hardest thing um, if you need counseling please see it I I felt like I definitely mourned whatever I needed to and I'm in much better place I highly recommend if you do need it to seek counseling but I just wanted to really share with you guys um, what I went through and um, you know, um, it's not easy. Uh, and like I said, I was only five weeks. I, I honestly, I can't fathom to even think if I was any bigger. Um, that attachment that you have instantly, instantly. I can't imagine being any bigger and then also experiencing the miscarriage. Um, I honestly bless you all and I... I wouldn't wish it on even my worst enemy because it is really the one of the hardest it is the hardest thing that um i've ever experienced in my entire life me and my ex we did try after um but i did not get pregnant and i think i think that had to do with other reasons um one being that i was very stressed and we decided to stop trying which was definitely the best decision because being stressed out, uh, you need some time to 
you know, get it all back together. Um, and be, be yourself again and, you know, know that trying again, you really, really have to take the stress out of it. Um, it's way easier said than done, but I can't stress that enough. Um, you can't be so fixated on, you know, I, I gotta be pregnant, I gotta be pregnant, I gotta be pregnant, because that's exactly what I did after my miscarriage, and it just didn't work. My doctor recommended me to get on metformin. Now, at this time, I, I had prepped my body, and my body did exactly what it needed to do as far as getting pregnant. Um, I do think that maybe had I taken metformin or, um, I know there's a, a natural alternative to metformin, um, but my doctor was like, I highly recommend you taking metformin. I have never tried it before. Um, I have now, but I'm saying back then I have never, I had never tried it before. It has a huge effect on your insulin levels. So she recommended that and I winded up taking metformin um, months later and I did notice that I ovulated way sooner. Have PCOS and um, you know, you are, you want to get pregnant. Uh, talk to your doctor about metformin and see what they say. Um, and also remember that men grieve completely different. Um, they do grieve. They grieve too. Don't forget. Um, we tend to, you know, just think we're the only ones grieving. Even if we don't see them cry, they're not grieving. Um, that's not true. They are grieving, but it's just in their own way. Um, we handle things very differently. As a person, we handle things differently. And as men and women, uh, we also handle our emotions differently as well. Don't forget that. Um, you know, also remember to go easy on yourself. You know, don't bash yourself. Um, those are normal reactions. I understand. Do something for yourself that'll make you feel good. Like, remember to take care of yourself. Um, you know, remember that closure. Closure, um, it comes gradually. It's, it's not like overnight. Just give yourself some time. Um, also, I think being productive. You know, any projects that you've put on hold for a while that you haven't done, get them done. Keep your, it keeps your mind off of things. Um, you know, it allows you to, to heal and, and, and keep you busy. Um, you know, maybe do some writing. Writing is, is really um, therapeutic, so I, I highly recommend some writing is good. Um, you know, even if you want to write your emotions down, that's fine. If you want to write your goals, you want to talk about anything you want to get off your chest, just write it down. Um, learn something new too. You can always learn something new. Um, read a book. Um, you know, you can um, try a new recipe. You know, get you get in the kitchen, try something new, um, and slowly these things will will help. Will slowly get you back to your your normal routine. Just know that it'll be okay eventually. I know that this topic is um, extremely difficult. Uh, it's difficult to share. It's difficult to hear. A lot of women feel guilt, and it's extremely normal. I know I did. Um, you know, you just have to let, give yourself time to heal and to process things, um, to heal mentally and to heal physically, but mainly mentally because, um, it's, it's difficult. It really is difficult. Um, and I know that hearing, oh, things are going to, things are going to get better, you know, just next time, try next time this, next time that, you know, um, at that moment, you don't, you don't care about next time. Um, I'm down to give you, giving you guys some tips on how, um, you know, different ways to either get pregnant again or, um, you know, whether it's PCOS related tips. But I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and let me know your experiences if you're open to talk about it. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.